in particle physics, bigger really is better. Let me tell you about it. Particle accelerators are built to, you know, accelerate particles, obviously. And of course, we're talking about tiny subatomic particles here. But the acceleration is only useful because we can then smash them into stuff, like other subatomic particles. But the performance of a particle accelerator is in its ability to smash. The harder and more often, the better. So we rate it with two numbers, the beam energy, how hard, and the beam luminosity, how often. We'll start with beam energy, and if you want to hear about luminosity, let me know in the comments. Getting your power up depends on whether you're trying to shore up existing performance or completely upgrade to a new model. In the case of the latter, you'll want a big ring. A really big ring. See, most modern accelerators are ring-shaped because we can't accelerate particles over particularly short distances. Except what Abby does, she's tagged in the description. The way it typically works is that we use radio waves to accelerate the charged particles in metal tubes that act as resonant cavities for radio waves. They're called RF cavities for a reason. Now, the radio waves oscillate at a particular, fine-tuned rate so that the charged particles ride a wave of forward-moving electric field, pushing them faster and faster. But these don't do that much acceleration per trip, so you build a ring. That way, the charged particles can keep passing through the same RF cavities over and over again. The trouble is, the higher the energy, the harder it is to get a particle to bend in a circle. To make the beam bend, we use dipole magnets, so-called because they have two poles, north and south. Magnetic fields like this cause moving charged particles to bend according to the Lorentz force law, but because the force on them is proportional to the momentum, and the bending rate is proportional to the energy, it ends up that more energetic particles bend more slowly. So if you want high energy, you either need a big ring to account for the slow turn, or strong magnets. Preferably, both. On the other hand, upgrading beam energy for a given accelerator is basically limited by how strong your bending magnets can be. And that means bigger and better superconductors, which is a pain. That's why 